Barukata donai elohenu melecha olam, asher kitchenu bimitz votav, vitivenu lachiot or lagoim, venatan lanu et Yeshua, meshienu or ha olam. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to be a light to the nations, who gave us Yeshua our Messiah, the light of the world. Shabbat Shalom. So tonight, I thought maybe we would just, since it is Shabbat, celebrate Shabbat. It's in Leviticus 23, but more importantly, it's in Genesis. And even more importantly than that, it's his Shabbat. It's his day of rest. So if we love him, let's obey him. And there's so much to it. It's just very rich and very beautiful. We start with candles, remember and observe. He's told us to remember and observe. So let's do it. And then there is bread. We call it challah. There's traditionally two loaves, but I'm a single person, so I make I made one. And then there's wine. But there's blessings. So let's have at it, and I'll try and explain it as I go along. I'm gonna go ahead and do English for the most of it, okay? A little bit of it in Hebrew, but most of it in English. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all of his work that he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it that he had rested from all of his work, which God created and made. So um, in case you're wondering, that's Genesis chapter 1, starts at about verse 31, goes into chapter 2 till about the third verse. And then there's this time where... Um, we go, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei puri hagafen ha'amit Yeshua hamashiach. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the true fruit of the vine, Yeshua. And you know, a full cup of wine is a, a picture of joy. But it also reminds us that he shed his blood for us. And that's the only way we're made righteous. Nothing we can do. Absolutely nothing we can do. He did it all. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Chomotzi ed lachem chachayim min hashemayim. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, Master and Creator of the universe, who gives the living bread from heaven, Yeshua. He's the bread of life. And again, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. And it reminds us. I make sweet challah. You can have savory challah as well, but to me, Sabbath is sweet. So I like sweet challah bread for my Shabbat. The nice part about having a ceremony for Shabbat, it's not necessary. No, it's not necessary for the nations. It's not necessary for us goyim to do it. But I'll tell you what, there's a lot of significance. And if you do it as a family, 
it can be a beautiful thing. Um, you want to do it before dark comes, but Shabbat can start before the day, you know, the evening and the morning or the day. God set aside evening and morning were the first day, evening and the morning were the second day. So Shabbat starts on Friday evening, this, the, what we call the sixth day, but it's the nighttime. And the night comes and then the morning. That's the day. That's God's day. So on Friday night, you would light candles. You would have wine and bread. You would say the blessing over the candles. The mama would. Then you would say the blessing over the wine and the bread. Typically the dad would, but the mom would. I mean, you know, don't get hung up on that. But the dad or the mom can bless the children, or both of them can. So there's a time where moms or dads or both would lay their hands on their children and bless them. Wow, that's a biblical concept. And then if there's a, a, a family unit, a father and a mother, the father is to bless the mother. It's really beautiful. And then they have a meal. And you know, a meal is a covenant relationship. We have meals with people that we love, that we have relationship with. And God had a covenant, you know, and he made a covenant with us. And so it's, we bring in the Shabbat with a wonderful meal, with good bread, wine, light, friends, family, and a good meal. And that's how Shabbat starts. It's a beautiful, beautiful celebration. And it's a weekly celebration to remind us of who our Savior is and what he did for us. Shabbat isn't a time of don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. It's a time of, man, I get to rest. I get to spend time with Abba, Father. I get to spend time with family and friends. I get to meditate on your word without any outside hassles or, or commitments. So really, it's a day of joy. Sometimes when my kids were little, we used to go hiking or bike riding or we'd play games. It's a time for fellowship. And it's different from the rest of the week. So make it a day of joy and praise. And welcome his presence. Bo Ruach Elohim. Come, Holy Spirit. You are welcome in this place. I hope you have a wonderful Shabbat. I'll see you next time.